Hello and welcome to my recording tonight. As of today, I had a good day. I was at Easter Seals today. They didn't even they never let me use the computer, but that's okay. Gonna do more other things too. And I was in Herbert today for an hour, half an hour. And um, I had a good day with him. And then um, what I'm doing tonight is a video game tutorial. It's uh, starting this recording at 6.59, we go ahead on at um, 7, 7 something, or 7, uh, 7.29, which will be only for 30 minutes. I know I'm not supposed to do long recordings because Dennis don't like me do that kind. Because I'm not supposed to put long recordings on YouTube. But anyway, I'm not with Dennis no more, so I don't need to worry about him, but I gotta write him a letter. Thank you for helping me with the computers. So let's start here as we put the game inside. Make sure the TV stay on mute because which I cannot do this recording in sound. I might go make too much noise. So as we get started, um, this is the game Need for Speed. This is a racing game that is popular for the Xbox. And get them for the GameCube as well, but add the graphics look ugly. So as you get the GameCube version, this the graphics won't look too good. This is the real version. This is the real deal of all video games. This is the Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is the first sequel of the second one. And there's 15 Need for Speeds in the series. And this Need for Speed is basically from all the like for people who's racing fans out there like to play this kind of racing game. And with this racing game is all about it. It's very tense. And um, as you play this game, it has a story to it with this guy named Razor. And there's other inmates that wanna race in the in the street race. This game is the object is to beat each racer on the blacklist. You have 15 racers and you have to beat every one of them till you get to Razor. Razor Cunningham is the leader of the race. So as this game goes on, we wait for this cinematic for play. And now we go continue. It's the first speed most wanted. Brought to you by EA Games, the one that make the James Bond games. So you press the start button and then it says it's a storage device so like that. I know I know you like hear sound but can I hear sound when I'm doing this recording but sound all way. So as we get in the okay, cave, I'm gonna show you how to play the game. This is need for speed most wanted. This is your game stats. It's like game completion, career mode, your rap sheet for winning go against the cops. And your um, um, your challenge series, which you have a variety of challenges that you wanna beat. So let's go through the basics, okay? You know, no need to unlock nothing. You just gotta unlock the cars, get the parts for you, what you need for your car, upgrade your car, cause it can get a bit sluggish in between races. So as we accept here. I don't want to go in, but it's going to tell you how to play. Okay, then we go in the options. We go in here. Yeah, no mind me talking local because I'm a local Hawaiian guy. Eh? <laughs> okay, now let's go in here. This is the audio. This is the gameplay setup. Your player. Controls. This is the controls. Okay, you press, you press the top shoulder button to break and reverse. The other shoulder button is for accelerate. The home menu is the Xbox guide. You have the lock, look back key, button, the nitros, the e brake, speed breaker, which is when you speed break between races. And you have your map, as your road map, and to engage shop or event. Look back. Change camera view, shift up, shift down, and pause the game. And this 
and this is the player setup transmission if you want it standard or automatic this is the camera setup for the car your gauge race information slip timer scorecard leaderboard the leaderboard you won't be able to use them because you need Xbox Live okay then you have gameplay setup this will tell on um, auto save which you have to leave on because if you turn it off you have to save the game manually which I recommend you do not do that because just in case you forget to save your game you will lose your data file so and the game moment camera you need that on car damage review units have metric or imperial now the units is the, for the cops so when you have a variety amount of cops coming after you this is there will be either imperial or metric so if you change it to imperial the units the cars will be the cops will be a little bit difficult that is the cop difficulty level the AI setting and this is for your HUD your map if you want it static rotate or st off but it's later leave it on there because it was set it up that way but you can change it if you want and our race map mode is for rotate off or static oh yeah don't worry about the ES it's just the music so as we go back in here let's go it's the tracks it's for the music in any go that the credits for the people who made the game Let's go back. This is the player setup. So you know what is that already. So you can get out of there. And this is your data and alias analyze manager. This will, as you go in here, this will um, create, load, save, and delete if you want to delete it. But if you delete your allies file in need for speed on accident you will lose it so always save and load and create a new one if you want to and you can create a new file and you can share it with friends on xbox live so it's going here and this is xbox live so it won't let you sign in because when you get the Xbox Live with Need for Speed, you can get downloadable content. You can even download the the car with ROG, the red car. And we can't go in there. This is the My Cars. This is the like car. Let's look in here. If you want to select a new car, you go here. Got this one. So the best car when you go against your blacklist rival in Need for Speed Most Wanted, most wanted th there's 15 peep races you're gonna go against. There's um, all of Razor's friends you have to race and they're a bit hard. So let's see. This is the cars that's available here. Toyota this is one of the top cars to choose the Toyota okay. not really Mazda Hold on. no Mercedes Benz that's a fast one um, Subaru no The Dodge Viper. This is the recommended car you must pick. Just add it onto your list. Customize car. 
add parts to it. You can add parts, performance, and visuals to your car. This is where you add performance. This is why you want to add your engine. As you can see, you can unlock certain parts for your car in, your, in the game because you have to be the blacklist member. So, it won't work that way. And nitros, tires, brakes, and superchargers. And you would need this too. And this makes your car go faster. And another thing. Okay, let's get out of this. This is the brakes. You would need brakes too. And, and you can't get that because you have to beat the blacklist member. It's gone again. Okay. And if you select another car, you can go in here. Okay, hold on, it's saving now. Always leave an automatic save. And this is the This is the challenge series for the in the first speed. Now this is the common part of the game. This is uh, when you challenge, when you test your driving skills on the part of the game for all your Need for Speed fans out there. So if you select one, you just press this. The tutorials it says. Uh, it's a tow booth so get the, the time standard ticket at the start and finish the race the time stand between them are to pass the tow booth along to earn extra time okay so uh, if you go against the cops which you will need if you if you go against the cops you will have to be careful because they can pin you in easily so the best because these cops it gets harder as you go up, along and let me show you something here I know I can talk in play at the same time how many minutes we wait oh 13 minutes not bad you can go a couple more minutes because we finished at 729 because <coughs> we start at 659 remember okay so if you yeah so if you go against the cops Select this. Select this large this event is select yes. And as a reminder, if you go against the cops and if your heat level is too high, the maximum is ten. But I don't want if you go against the cops you will get caught. Vacancy, so you will have to Okay, let's go in career mode and show you what I mean. So, let's go in career mode for a minute. Resume. Okay. Milestones. View tutorials. That's, that's this bounty. <coughs> tutorials tips yes. milestones you are acquired to complete unique minimum number of milestones challenges before you can go up against the next rival on the blacklist milestone challenges are specific to the blacklist and always require you to interest to which the cops 
to invade them, launching in a milestone challenge which directly into a pursuit. Okay, the good news is you can still get credit for any of the other milestones. You will fulfill during the pursuit as long as you get away. Okay. Here's the tutorial. Pursuit tutorial. Okay. Um, cops are always look out for speeders. Longer pursuit, the raise your heat level comes higher. And cops come more aggressive. Okay. To the next part. Outrun the cops by using pursuit breakers in moments to slow them down. Heat will drop in active cars in your safe house. And that's how you evade the cops so they don't get you. And so that's how you stop the cops from running and taking. Because if you raise your heat level up to 10, you will generously uh, get busted by the cops. That's a really risk taker because every, every time I try doing it, you will get caught. So the best way, if you want to take the cops down faster, the recommend car to use is the Mazda RX-8, the Dodge Viper, Dodge Viper, the Mer Mercedes Benz, um, and he use well mostly is the Dodge Viper. Why? Because Dodge Viper has more speed, more easy up on handling, and and on on that stuff. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Well, sorry, I can't hold the controller and play the game at the same time because it's, I don't have a microphone to, I don't have something to put it on top. So let's go into free roam mode. Okay. You zoom to free roam, you press yes. Are you sure you want to leave the safe house? Yes. So you press that. Now I know I'm supposed to put this recording in video, but I can't. So we have to listen carefully. Okay. Round. Okay, let's check this out here. So this is your, um, you will get, uh, Mia and Rob will help you doing the game. So let's look at your notes, because no more sound, so you cannot hear. So let me put the TV on mute so you cannot hear what they're saying. Now this part. Okay. Let's get to the most important part of the game. I'm not going to go through all of this because it might take too long. Speed trap, pursuit breakers, wisely. Okay. This is the most, most important and common part of the game. Because when you go against the cops, you have to be smart because they are smart too. The cops can really put, really get you, so use the Dodge Viper I recommend and increase your ride. So, okay, by now, thinking you're the using the pursuit breakers to ditch the cops. There is the deal on getting the most other than pursuit breakers. Don't use use them if you don't need to. You might get a few laughs by it, making it making a donut for them. Save it for when when the cops are on your tail and you're bathing room or when you are trying to lose the last one of your before backup arrives. Okay. Okay, learn where the police are in the road and plan your route. So 
Plan your route carefully. So the cops come in groups of three or six or maybe more. Like if you have you cop level to level five, that means about thirty cops will be after you. So you have to plan your you have to use strategy if it's up that level. You don't want your heat level on your ride. You need for speed most wanted. You don't want your heat level get up to level 9 or 10. Not you in the danger zone. And when you when your car in need for speed most wanted is at that level, you will face cross. He comes in in a C6 Corvette and he brings a group of three units. He is the main guy of the game, but it will be possible to you to beat him. You, 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 it's all about skill and strategy. Okay. Okay, what else we have here? Get more than one car. Yeah, you know that. So you know, the maximum is 10 cars. There's 32 cars in all in the game, but you don't have to get all of it. Just stick with the cars you want, like the Toyota Supra, um, the Dodge Viper, the Mercedes Benz, and um, mostly the Dodge Viper. Because that's the main one that you want to stick with. So let's go in here. New cars and parts. You will also need parts for your car, like engine, transmission, suspension. Well, mainly when I play the game, I just get the engine, the turbo, the nitros, but for for you people that is really Need for Speed fans out there, you, you might want to get all the parts for the car, mostly the performance, because the main performance that you should recommend get is the engine, the transmission, the brakes, the supercharger, the nitros on um, suspension because you need good handling when you go on the car when you go against the cops because mostly the the most fun part of the game is going against the cops so that's the fun part if you're just racing it's a little blower it's a little it gets a little boring so if you want to make it exciting it's best that you will you go against the cops first while you're racing because if not it's gonna get boring so the regs of racing the blacklist memory members basic rules are for evading the police okay here's the part you might have to follow basic rules you have to follow the basic rules so here's the basics okay the one part police, yeah, I know, I think I'm gonna read that. Okay, keeping your distance to escape, get some distance between you and the police until you're not of their sight. You can't get away, take a route where you can make some quick moves like a like a 360 you can do a 180 you can go over the ramp you can go to the industrial park area of rockport use traffic to your advantage so you go in between the cars take lanes turn left turn right and if you see a, a barricade with bcs the the blockade so you might have to turn turn to the the left or the right because the cops can block you in easy then you are advantage to lose the police don't assume that you can outrun them so like say your heat level is almost to level level eight or nine and you want to go against raw um, officer cross you will have to use really good strategic 
sprouts with your ride. And if you're using a Dodge Viper, you might get a chance. I'm not sure. Okay. And keep and keeping them on the highway. So it's best not to go on the highway. Well, some people who play Need for Speed most wanted like to go on the highway because they think they can outrun the cops when they don't. But they can get you easy that way. So you don't want to do that. The best way is to only go try to get them off the golf course or the Forest Green Country Club or um, hiding in the bushes because they can, they can lose sight that way. Well, they got me a couple of times, so I never tried to do that yet. So how long is this recording? Oh, 25 minutes. Five more minutes. Then we're done because we don't like go too long. So this is the hiding spot. This is the most common part. Once you're out of sight, the police will looking for you. So as again, this is the Xbox version of the game. Their uh, their AI is a bit official. Is a lot stronger. And they they can be. They can the cops can really get you down because because this is the Xbox version and people who play as the cops they play it online on the internet so that's why they're they're more aggressive so once you're out of sight the police will be looking for you and find a hiding spot or watch your radar and stay away from the police for a while so like say you're trying to beat a milestone and you at your heat levels at level six okay so if you have some more cops following you you pursue break them then you find your hiding spot not by the gas station. I recommend you go to the where the baseball field is. We get the fo the football stadium. That's where you go. That's do not go by the gas station because the reason why not the gas station they can get you easy from there. The blue circle on your mini map. So the blue circle on your on your HUD will show where how often you disappear from the. Okay. Okay. Here comes the most common part. Okay, but pursuit breakers. Okay. In Need for Speed, most wanted there are pursuit breakers. As I explained on there. So if the police are hot on your tail, that means when your heat level raises to ten, that means you're in danger zone. The cops will use their nitro nitro oxide booster on their cars, and there will be more vigilant. And by the time you get to cross, you will probably get busted. So, if you want to face cross, you might need the Dodge Viper. I'm not sure you might have a chance, or you might have to download Rog's car. So, if the, I mean, again, okay, let me read this one more time. If the police are hot on your tail, look for the pursuit breakers that can quickly lose the police. Pursuit breakers appear as triangle on your mini map. So, those flashing triangle lights on your mini map on your HUD will show you each cop where they're at and you have to plan your route strategy more specific okay okay back up okay now this is the most important part you have to watch for so like say your heat level is at level 9 there will call about 60 cops so whenever the cops are following you and you're trying to complete a milestone a milestone 
Next to a milestone card, you gotta get through 18 roadblocks, okay, or 20. Are you getting low on your low on numbers? They call for backup. So, like say, if your heat level is at level 10, and it's at max, and you wanna face cross, oh, you would need your um, Dodge Viper. The reason why the Dodge Viper, because that's the car you might need to defeat Cross. And you will become the most wanted racer when you defeat him. Make sure you get out of sight before the backup arrives. So, the backup arrives in two minutes. But if your heat level is high, it might be less, maybe a minute and 45 seconds. So, or you will have more police to deal with, to dealt with. So, if you have like 60 or 70 cops following you, make sure you're using the right car that can penetrate them. And make sure that your car is well upgraded with transmission, nitros, your turbo, and um your um supercharger if you're using a muscle car but i recommend you not use a muscle car i recommend you use exotics so that's the best bet so let's go in here working your way up the blacklist okay but people will already know that okay now let's go to your as you can see that my car is up to level 4 so that's pretty normal that's between 4 5 or you want to keep your heat level on your car to 4 or 5 not 8 or 9 it's only if you're going to face cross ok this is the last part of the game performance tuning Okay, 32 minutes. Okay, we gotta stop already. We went a little bit too long. That's the right, and it's 7.31. Okay. Steering. Okay, this is the most part. Handling your brakes. Um, your ride height. So how long you want your ride, so you must leave it at normal. Nitros. You need nitros and you need turbo. This three is this two is the most common parts. Steering, handling. You don't want too much steering, so you, your car will drift. So you just want to leave it there. And that's how you play the game. Okay. And there you go. That's the set. Okay, let's jump back to the safe house. Okay, let's get to the last part here. Tutorial. The blacklist. You have 15 races. So you start off with Sunny, Taz, Big, Izzy, Big, Big Lou, Baron, Earl, Jules, Case, Bing, and Webster. That's where I'm on right now. So, and again, there are 15 in the Need for Speed. So the storyline for this one follows the the Need for Speed Undercover and um, the Carbon one. So because that's what follows it for. Thank you for listening to this recording. And we'll listen to this recording some other time. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Start in five, four, three, two. Stop.